down to the lines first and try to try to blow it up to scale, you know. It's comic book history, you know. Yeah, for That's real, it. dude. The first, the first Ninja Turtle cover. The first issue of the Turtles was reviewed in by Heavy Metal magazine. They said, we love the Frank Millerisms, but I can see undertones of Richard Corbin and Vaughn Bodie. I was a huge, huge Vaughn Bodie fan as a kid growing up, and that's his son. That's Mark Bodie. I'm Mark Bodie, um, been a comic book artist for over 30 years. My father was Vaughn Bodie. I've been a tattooist for 16 years and a spray can artist since 1986. We decided to do this mural for Meltdown Comics and uh, they give us a spot. And I'm like, man, I saw the back of um, Meltdown Comic Store and I see this huge black wall and it made me think of the first issue of the Turtles comic. So I was like, what if we painted the first cover, did we create the first cover? Well, if we do the whole thing, we try to include the Shredder shadow, these guys are gonna be too small. And I'm thinking like, maybe we'll, the purists will hate us, but maybe we'll cut, out, cut it a little different. You're gonna get it done in two days? <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. that was that was part of the thing is like get him in today. You know, get in today and make it something we can accomplish in in basically a day. We'll kind of rough it out today and then tomorrow right. we'll sort of block it in. It's like when you start blowing up, you start seeing how disproportioned, how out of proportion <laughs> they really were back in those days. How we didn't really know how to draw them. You know, those <laughs> really weird beaky faces and nexus long. <laughs> but see, like I'm saying, is like I'm. I'm drawing it and I'm trying to fix stuff and Mark's actually taking it back to the way they're supposed to look. IDW is working on a reinvention of the comic and then uh, Nickelodeon who owns the property by Commons if they're doing a new uh, animated series that should come out next year, next fall. Cool. And then Michael Bay's uh, Platinum Dunes company is doing a new live action movie for 2013. But I, yeah, I've seen some the first 35, 40 pages of the script and it's it's fantastic. And when I met Kevin, we just instantly hit it off, and, and I had him uh, do a guest spot in the last issue that I did in, in Miami Mice number four, and uh, that that was that was a hoot. And and then we just uh, and then he said, well, let's do a Ninja Turtle comic together. And so I said, well, I really like Bruce Lee, so let's put Bruce Lee and the Ninja Turtles together, and that that'll just be. A match made in heaven, and so we, we just we, we just had a great time, and and I've never had so much fun doing a comic in my life, you know. When we did issue 18 of the TMNT, I, I've, I've been trying to get my my comic book friends into spray can culture because it's it's such a hot medium to work in, and and it's a natural, you know, that comic books should go to spray can. Art. I came up with the original idea for Casey, and then a, a character with two bats, and then yeah. Pete, Pete came up with the idea of putting a golf bag, and putting all these other weapons, oh, and I was like, great. oh my god, that's awesome. And then, and then I watched, um, I saw uh, Big Trouble in Little China, uh -huh. and Kurt Russell's character, Big Tr Jack Burton, yep. like, that's Casey. That that's is, exactly, yeah. I kind of pretty much ripped the rest of Casey's personality from that. Yeah. Gaston made a big mistake. He showed me this empty space and he said, do you have any ideas for a show? <laughs> so I said, well, why don't we do a turtle show and we'll do this and this. And then I said, well, I got this other kids project called Underwear. It's kind of a Calvin and Hobbes meets Wizard of Oz kind of thing. And why don't we do a show on that a week later? And then I got this other project. It was optioned by Fox, which I just got back the rights to called Biz and Buzz. And uh, what do we do? And I did all this conceptual art for that. I said, why don't we do a show on that? <laughs> And then it's 30, Heavy Metal's 35th anniversary in 2012. Yay! Why don't we do a show on that? And so, <laughs> and so we, we sort of evolved into this thing where it's, it'll be Turtles, then seven days later, Underwear, then seven days later, uh, we'll do Biz and Buzz. And it'll be in a full gallery opening, original art, awesome. um, comics, um, all stuff related to that specific concept. And then Lost, L-O-S-C, Lost Angeles is another um, project that'll be the 21st. And then we'll run from the 28th to the uh, January 4th, we'll run uh, Heavy Metal. So it goes right into Heavy Metal's official birthday. So.